Let's dive into USC in San Jose State, and this one did not go nearly the way that... It, so I kind of thought that it would go a little one-sided here. It was close for a while, and then the fourth quarter happened, and whoo, uh, Nick Starkle had two interceptions in this game. Uh, Keaton Slovis, it, it was not... He was not what dominated this game. The The domination came from the, the USC side where they were able to run the ball, 160 yards rushing on 34 carries. They, you know, and both teams had two turnovers, but but USC just, you the talent differential in this game. Got to him. Yes, absolutely got to him, and it just finally wore him out late. Like, yep. San Jose State could do nothing. But this is what the big boys are going to do to the little guys. San Jose State is one of the better little guys, okay? And USC might not be the strongest of the big boys. But at some point in time, it just wears on you, and you just can't keep fighting with those dudes. Because none of none of these smaller teams especially have the depth to hang yeah. with the big teams. They just don't. It's what well, kills USC, them. USC you can is stick a, around for a couple of quarters, but you can't stick around for four. USC is a top 10 I'm double checking uh, the college team talent composite over at 247 Sports. USC is number ten as far as most talented, and San Jose State is down close to like a hundred. I mean, they're, yep. they're in the nineties. So it, it, the difference there, it was eventually going to get away from them, and they just it is what it is. Hank said, "I believe Fresno State is the uh, the favorite to win the Mountain West right now." Ben said, "Nevada wins the Mountain West." I, said, I, I, look, I don't think <laughs> I, I think I think both those teams. I think this this San Jose State team. I think Boise's still good. I, I don't know that Hawaii's dead. I think I think the Mountain West is going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Uh, Larry Pilgrim said, "Jump ball USC." That's where they get you. Yeah, they got guys on the outside well, yeah, all over. The place. Every year they have a wide receiver that that is unbelievable. In this game, the uh, let's see, Drake London is is the dude. He didn't have a touchdown yes. in this game, but twelve receptions, one hundred thirty seven yards, eleven point four yards per reception. Taj Washington, four receptions, fifty six yards and a touchdown. I mean, just. Just absurd, like the stuff they were really able good. to do. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.